Hello, this is Roland. Today I want to talk about um, trauma, um, traumatic stress that children suffer. Um, many people are carrying around baggage from the past. A lot of people have issues that go all the way back to childhood. In fact, most people. You could say all people do. You see, little children, as I've always said, are little people. Little children, children are little people. And they're very sensitive. And as I said in a previous video that I made, children are also resilient. They are resilient and they have love, a lot of love, which is a protection. Love is a protection. Remember, was it Paul? I believe it was Paul who said, perfect love casts out fear. You see, that's an example of how love is a protection. I remember I heard a story one time. This is an aside, but I want to tell it anyway. I'll get back to the topic shortly. It is germane to the to the topic but it's uh, you know it's off on the tangent but I can't resist I heard the story and it was about a man who was uh, watching his uh, granddaughter play I think they were outside or maybe at the beach and his granddaughter was playing and he he watched his granddaughter and he marveled at her joy and exuberance and, um, the delight that she took in things and the easy manner with which she dealt with things. And he, uh, he asked himself, what's the difference between her and me? What's the difference between her and me? And he finally realized what the difference was. You know what it was? The difference was resentment. He was resentful about many things in life. And she had no resentment at all. So there's a lesson to be learned there. I'll never forget Ann Landers, the great newspaper columnist. Some of you are too young to to uh, to remember Ann Landers, but she was a great newspaper columnist. She had a column that appeared every day in the newspaper. People would ask her questions. Dear Abby was the other. Remember Dear Abby? So there was Ann Landers and there was Dear Abby. And Ann Landers would answer questions in the newspaper. It was always fun to read. People would send in their personal problems and or relationship issues or family issues and she would or work issues and she would answer them. She was quite good at it. But toward the end of her career, after many, many years, decades I think, of answering questions, somebody asked her, if you could give people one piece of advice, just one piece of advice, what would you tell them? And you know what her answer was? She said, I would tell them, I would tell people to be more forgiving. To be more forgiving. So those two little stories contain a very vital key for you. Um, especially if you, uh, if when you were a child, if your father wasn't there for you, if your mom was too much, too much in some way always sick or always bossing you around or putting you down or playing favorites or pressuring you. Other kids pressured you. There were bullies and there was school pressure and ambition pressure and peer pressure, all kinds of pressure. And somehow your dad wasn't there for you. Okay. And then things happened because of neglect, because of a terrible school system, because your parents were unaware. See? They, they had issues. Undoubtedly, your parents, if you're like most people, your parents had issues. And they got caught up in their issues. And somehow, when they got caught up in their issues, they weren't there for you. Okay? In the right way. Now, some of you had rotten parents, and then you suffered for it. Others of you had decent parents. Decent. Your mom was decent. Your dad was decent. They were 
you know, good people. But even though they were good people, there were still issues. In some way, perhaps, undoubtedly, your father wasn't there for you. He may have been there at home every night watching television or reading the newspaper, but he wasn't emotionally there for you somehow. Somehow you needed Father to be, to be stronger than the world, see, to overcome the world with, with, uh, with love and patience and forgiveness and forbearance and courage and all the beautiful virtues. See, you, you needed your parents to be like a, a prince and a princess. But al alas, your parents had feet of clay and they made mistakes. They, they made mistakes. They did the best they could, but they made mistakes. And especially your father uh, was the one that you really needed um, something special from. And he didn't, he didn't have it. Okay. So regardless of whether your parents were good parents or lousy parents, okay, or mediocre parents, or even if you, your parent wasn't even there for you, your father died when you were little, or they were divorced, or you don't even know who your father was, that, that sort of thing. Regardless of what it, what it was, the secret to your moving forward and to your not bringing the past into your marriage, not bringing the past into the relation, in your relationship, and then doing unconsciously to your children what was done to you. The secret is to forgive your parents, okay? Remember Ann Landers said her advice to people would be to be more forgiving. Now, I want to make a very important point here. This is coming out a little different. See, I never know what I'm going to say. I flow from within, hope, and something good comes out. And I don't know what it's going to be. If I had pre-planned, if I had everything pre-planned and I had notes and I had... Um, quotations and all these clever things pre-planned, you know what, it would be false, it would be shallow, it would be phony, it, would, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't have, um, it wouldn't be real, it wouldn't be alive. Okay. So I want to say something very important. Forgiveness is the key to your recovery and to your forgiving yourself. You see, some people, sometimes we turn our anger or resentment on ourselves, see, or we project it onto others. But the key is forgiveness. But now here's the important thing that I want to say. Many people have the wrong idea of what forgiveness is. I'm going to tell you right now what forgiveness is. And you'll see how the two stories relate to each other that I told you. Forgiveness means letting go of Resentment. It means letting go of resentment. It means dropping resentment. Letting it go. Making what happened unimportant by letting go of the resentment. Letting go of the grudge. Letting go of the judgment. Okay? That's what forgiveness is. And then, even more so, forgiveness means not having judged in the first place. Okay? But, so now you know that forgiveness means not having judged in the first place. So now you see, for if you, could, if you could get my meditation, so you could have some objectivity and get centered and be less emotional, then you could go out in the world and you could observe people. And mainly, it's mainly people that's our problem, isn't it? Just see, people who did something to you or who you resented or who, who you judged or who you hated or who were cruel to you or neglected you or something and you resented them see so you if you could go out in the world and just observe people without without resenting them without judging them see it, it, go through life as if you were a tourist on vacation just what just observing seeing people and things and the clouds and animals and life and just observing everything with with interest sometimes with with puzzlement Sometimes you don't know exactly what's going on. Other times it's uh, one awe and wonder, wonder, marveling at things. 
to but, but not resenting that would be that would keep you safe from now on but let's talk about right now you have a lot of baggage from the past because you have judged see and you've judged harshly now it'll be easier for you to forgive because now that you as you've grown up and you start you get in relationship and you have children and so on now you begin to see you see yourself doing what your parents did you see yourself messing up for example with your partner or with your kids with, with other people you, you see yourself messing up do you want to mess up no you don't you can't help you can't help yourself any more than they could help themselves see they weren't deliberately it's very unlikely that they were deliberately being cruel to you it's possible there are some wicked people in the world very wicked people who are who are deliberately cruel so it's possible okay but most likely your parents see were just regular people and they they couldn't stop them they couldn't stop themselves what was in them see what happened to them when they were children they resented their parents and then they were under a compulsion to pass it on to you they didn't want to be cruel see see so now if you can see that then it makes it easier to forgive now that you're an adult and you see yourself messing up and you don't want to now you can see that your parents were in the same boat so they weren't deliberately being cruel so now you can forgive them see it's easier to forgive and what does forgiveness mean let's get back to that again it's very important it means letting go of judgment letting go of the resentment that's what it means letting go of the resentment okay now do you see the wrong idea that people have about forgiveness which which often blocks them from forgiving they have the idea that forgiveness means that you have to pretend that nothing happened no they have the idea that forgiveness means that you have to like the person who did something to you no or be friends with them no see or go to them and make nice with them and you know hug and all that stuff no it doesn't mean that at all forgiveness means letting go of the resentment letting go of the judgment so you can forgive a person in other words drop your judgment resentment against them and never have anything to do with them again see now you might have something to do with them I'll give you the classic example no I won't I want to keep this very simple I have some other videos on how to forgive and forget I have I've made some videos I think I even have a playlist so you can go and find it and watch it or read my books I talk about it okay I talk about it extensively especially in the myths and mysteries of marriage or um, in uh, putting the forever back in love I want to keep this very simple the secret to your recovery to having a happy and productive life and letting go of the past so that it doesn't intrude into your present is to let go of resentment and let go of judgment okay let go of your judgment against your, your poor old dad and your poor old unloved mom see the your mom nobody loved her properly and your dad well the world was too much for him so forgive them forgive everyone else whatever they did someone had done it to them okay so that's the, your, the, the secret so I think I've given you some very good food for, for thought and so I'm going to make an end to this little video my name is Roland